Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel and I am back with another video for you guys. I know it's been a while. So for today's video is going to be another BoxyCharm video for you guys with my November 2018 BoxyCharm. So I'm basically just going to show you guys what I got for this month's box. I'll be trying them on for the very first time and letting you guys know my first impression. Yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the box. Okay, so when you first open the box, they have this little pamphlet here. This just tells you everything, information, and um, retail prices about the products in your box. So every month they come up with different unique um, theme on your box. So for this month's box is the Gold Digger. The things I'm going to show you guys is the um, Luxury Luscious from the brand Lushaholic. I and mean, it's a very cute packaging with all that gold um, detail so it kind of like goes with their theme gold digger for this month and I thought the packaging was really pretty I could totally reuse this packaging and store my um, lashes so by the way this lash is in a style Instaglam so that's what it looks like it has that wispy more natural looking um, style okay let's see how much this one costs the falsies cost $14.99 and it says these are 100% vegan falsies. I'm going to show you is the Luxie brushes. The four different brushes here. They're more very detailed which is perfect for detailed eye look. I am familiar with Luxie. So Luxie is known for their very good brushes. So I actually own a few of their brushes and I really do like their brushes. Quality is really great. Here are the brushes. It is so cute. Look at the handle. Oh my gosh, these brushes are adorable and I personally love the gold glitter handle. I don't know if you guys can see the glitter, but it is like a glittery gold. This one right here is the Luxie 131 Mini Angled. It's the 122 Mini Tapered Brush. And then the third one is the 141 Mini Round. Fourth one is the Mini Flat Angled. So these um, brushes cost $21 and it is um, synthetic bristles. I do have the Glittering Star Eyeliner. Um, I think this is in a shade black. Yes, it is a black. So um, let me open it for you guys. So I'm going to show you guys a little swatch. So it's a sharpenable black eyeliner pencil with the um, glitter, silver glitters in it. I was actually expecting the glitter is gold, but it's actually um, silver. So yeah, I'm really excited to try this one out. This eyeliner cost $5. Moving on, I also did receive the Cover FX um, Glitter Drops. In a, this is their full size, and this is in a shade Nova. So, um, ooh, that is really pretty. It's a pretty gold and glitter drops. This is actually a multi-use drop. This is their full-size product and this one alone costs $44. Next thing I'm going to show you guys is the most exciting thing in the box. This is from the brand Ace Beauté. This is their Grand Joyce palette. I'm not really sure if I'm saying it right, but yeah. That's what it's called. Grand Joyce. I don't know. How do you say it? I don't know. So, let's open this up. Ooh, very, very pretty. Well, actually, this is not a surprise to me anymore because I've already seen some sneak peek in previous online. So, okay, here are the colors. You guys know I do love warm colors. I tend to reach out a lot into warm colors. So, this palette right here, I think I'm going to be using this a lot. There's a total of eight shadows here and four mattes and four shimmers. Okay, I'm going to show you guys a quick swatch. So the first shade is Jasmine. Okay, the second shade is Clove. This is a matte. Another metallic shade, this is a Shimmer. This is a shade Shimmer. This is so pretty. Another matte shade for the top row is the Cinnamon. I do like this color for transition. Cannot wait to use that one. This is the patchouli shade. It's a matte, warm cream color. Perfect for highlighting on your brow bone or using it as a base. The next shade is rose. It's a very pretty cranberry fuchsia pink. Next shade is poppy. And the last one is the prime rose. Ooh, that is really gorgeous. Okay, these are the colors in the first row. 
and then the second row. Okay, very pretty. So this eyeshadow palette retails for $24.99. And everything total for this one's box is $109.98. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I just have my brows on right now. I don't have anything on my face right now except for my moisturizer. So I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes using the Urban Decay's Primer Potion. So your girl is definitely breaking out right now guys. So I do have these two annoying zits right here. Um, that's because of the charcoal peel off mask that I used the other day and that definitely broke out my skin. Um, I do have a very sensitive skin. We're just going to go ahead and ignore these um, pesky annoying friends we have over here, okay? So now you guys are focused. We're just going to go ahead and ignore these pesky booger right here, okay? So just, just, just. Ignore, 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 okay? <laughs> I'm gonna be using the shade Patchouli to uh, set my primer all over my eyes and use it as a base. Okay, so I'm gonna go start with the shade Cinnamon right here as my transition shade and I will be using the Aluxy brushes later because it's more detailed. So for transition, I will be using my Sigma E35 blending brush. Okay, so moving on to the next shade, I'm going to be using the shade Poppy right here. And I'm going to be using the Luxie 121 Mini Tapered Brush to blend this out. Moving on to the next shade, I'm going to be using the shade Prime Rose. This time I'm going to be using my large shader E60 from Sigma to pack the uh, shimmer prime rose shade all over my lid. Ooh, that is gorgeous. thing I'm gonna use is my Architect waterproof eyeliner to line my eyes. Okay so I wanted to make this video as short as I can so I went ahead and did my eyeliner off camera. You guys have seen me put my eyeliner on camera before so I just went ahead and did that off camera that way it saves time and space on our camera. So moving on to my eyelashes I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Better Than Sex waterproof mascara. Okay, starting off with the face, I'm going to be using my Hangover Primer from Too Faced. I'm going to be trying out the new cover FX in the shade Nova. I'll be using this under my foundation today and we'll see how I like it. I hope I didn't apply too much because it really looked like glowy AF. Oh my gosh. That glitter though. <laughs> we'll see how this one turns out when we lay the foundation on top. For today's foundation, I'm going to be using my NARS All Day Luminous Foundation. This is in the shade Valieris. I can definitely still uh, see that glow peeking through um, even if we laid the foundation on top. 
so not too shabby. Then I'm going to be using my favorite concealers from Tarte. This annoying friends we have over here. Let's just hide them away because they're totally not welcome. Like, get out of here. And then the lighter shade under my eye area. Okay, so going back to the beauty sponge, start blending it out. I'll be using my derma blend to set my under eye concealer. To set my entire face, I'm going to be using the Laura Geller's a Baked Balance and Brighten Foundation. This is in a shade medium. Okay, so that glue already dried up, so I'm just going to go ahead and pop this Luscious on. Oh my gosh, this Luscious is bomb, you guys. To add a little warmth to our face, I'm going to be using the uh, Pure Minerals Mineral Glow. So I'm going to add a little bit of my nose. I'm going to tap it off with a little bit of contour deeper shades. So I'm going to use this lighter shade on my nose and then use this one on my cheek. For the blush, I'll be using my Laura Geller's um, Baked Blush. This is in a shade Apricot Berry. Super gorgeous berry color. I have been loving this one lately. I have been using this a lot, you know, for fall. This makes me feel like a glowing goddess today, so... I'll be using the glitter drops from Cover FX again and to see how this one um, works on top of my foundation. I have used a little bit under my foundation and I'm going to be using this to highlight the areas that I usually highlight which is right here, the high points of my cheeks in this side and then around my nose. So we'll see how I like this one for highlight. really have to blend this immediately because they dry so fast and once it's completely dry um, it stays on on your face so I mean which is a good sign because that means it would just stay all day what do you guys think girl 
I'm gonna go ahead and finish off my eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and um, add some colors to my bottom lash line using the Luxie's um, One for One Mini Round Brush. I dip it in a shade cinnamon right here and then just smudge this all over on that lash line area. I do like this brush though. It is so precise and it's so perfect for um, smudging colors under your around your lower lash line. Okay, so I'm gonna be using the Jaunty Blue a glittering eyeliner that came with the box. I'm not really putting this on my waterline, so just right on that lash line. Okay, so I'm gonna be using the shade Jasmine right here on our inner corners to add a little bit of pop to the um, inner corners right there. I'm using the detailed brush that came from my BH Cosmetic brush set. So this one doesn't really have any code. Oh no, this is a number 13 brush. Waterproof mascara from the bottom, I'll be topping this off on my lower lash line. So for today's lips, I'm going to be using the Balms Meet My Use um, Liquid Lipstick in a shade Trustworthy. Alright, that definitely completes our look for today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and I hope you had fun. I do hope that you guys like this look that I created today using the products that I got from my BoxyCharm for this month. And if you guys are interested about the BoxyCharm, I will link it down below. Please check out the description box. If you have any questions about it, you feel free to ask questions in the comment section. If you've watched this video all the way to the end, don't forget to hit like. And also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, so why not make it official? Feel free to go ahead and click that subscribe button down below and there is a notification bell beside it. You can go ahead and click that so you get notified in future tutorials that I upload in the future. If you're a new subscriber, feel free to say hi and let me know where you're from. I'd love to know where my subscribers are from and yeah, thank you so much for hanging out with me today and I hope to see you guys in my next one. Bye!